Anonymous Watch Guy here with a full review video. Quick wrist check. Wearing the Kosuke Kawamura Seiko 5 Limited Edition. Really awesome watch. Today I have a watch that I unboxed on the channel a couple weeks ago from Yunhans. And uh, I really like this watch. I really like the brand. And this is an update to the Meister Pilot line that was released within the last few months. There's this version plus a couple of chronos that also look really good. I uh, saw this one when it, when it came out and I thought, man, I would love to add that to the collection. Found it for a good deal, decided to pick it up, and I have not been disappointed at all. Really, really like this watch. Let's take a review of the specs on the watch. Once again, it is a 43.3 millimeter watch, so it is a little bit larger, and with that really thin bezel it's also going to present larger definitely gives you some wrist presence on wrist you've got a 22 millimeter lug opening the lug to lug is just under 50 it's 49.6 millimeters the lugs do curve down on this it wears very comfortably uh, and that curve down to the lugs uh, makes it wear a little bit smaller on the lug to lug than what it is Definitely really like the case shape on this watch as well. You can see it kind of looks like a bowl. Uh, really cool case shape on this watch. You've got a push-pull crown there at the 3 o'clock position that is signed with the Junghans logo. It is a larger crown. It's almost 7 millimeters. Uh, great grip on it. Easy to operate. Does give you 100 meters water resistance. 12.5 millimeters thick on this one again it's got a really thin looking mid case not that 12 and a half millimeters thick is thick by any means but it, it appears and wears even thinner than that uh, you do have a domed sapphire crystal that has anti-reflective treatment on both sides that crystal just kind of disappears really awesome looking crystal great ar on the crystal Gives you a beautiful shot of that Fume blue dial. Uh, just a gorgeous color of blue on the dial on this watch. Definitely a big fan of the color, and I love that crystal. It is just absolutely fantastic. This is running the ETA 7750, uh, also known as the Junghans Caliber JA80.16. Uh, so it is a chronograph movement, essentially, and you've got your small seconds complication and your date complication up there basically acting as kind of your chrono registers. But 25 joules, 38 hours power reserve, killer movements, 7750 movements are fantastic. Uh, not going to have any issues with that movement at all. I'm going to move these hands here a little bit so we can get a good shot of some of the text on the dial here, but uh, killer movement, no issues there. Love the look of this watch. Beautiful navy blue dial. Again, kind of a little bit Fume style, lighter in the center, darker towards the outside, and it has kind of a bowl shape. Uh, the case has kind of a bowl shape. The dial has a similar shape. You can see uh, that crystal also creates a little bit of a distortion that makes it look, uh, gives off that shape as well. You've got a railroad track style minute track running around the outside there. If you notice you've got at the three and the nine, you've got that uh, little splash of red also there for the date complication and your seconds hand on your running small seconds complication down there. Also ties in with the strap. Love the use of the pop of red. You've got Arabics at each one of your hour indicators. You've got your date complication beneath the 12. And you can see the odd numbers are listed on the date wheel. The even numbers are a slash. The even numbers are a red slash. The odd numbers are listed as the numeral itself. You've got your small seconds complication down there at the 6 o'clock position. Uh, love that bright red seconds hand. You've got the script Junghans over there at 9 o'clock and then automatic at 3 o'clock. Love the look of the dial, those big, broad, 
sword style handset that you would see on a pilot or flieger watch. And you could see the tip of that minute hand curves down uh, to match the shape of the dial, curves down, runs all the way out to that minute track on the dial there. Love the look of the dial, love the look of the handset. You got made in Germany printed down there at the six o'clock position as well. Beautiful watch, beautiful layout. This is a, a bi-directional friction fit bezel and it is a bit difficult to turn. Definitely a very tight fit on the friction fit. You're not gonna bump it and knock it off, but it is a friction fit uh, bi-directional bezel. It is a stainless steel watch that is DLC coated. This is diamond-like coating. It is all done in DLC, very nicely done. Looks really good. No issues with the coating whatsoever on this one, it being that it is a DLC coated watch, it is not going to scratch. Uh, you're gonna have a tough time doing anything to this watch. Uh, it's gonna hold up for years and years and look brand new. Uh, so usually not a huge fan of black DLC coated watches, but this one looks really good. Definitely maybe need to check out a few more uh, because I do like the DLC coating on this one. The loom is solid on this as well. We will check that out here shortly. The leather strap is also done very well. You've got a navy blue leather strap with a matching stitch. It is padded a bit up here at the top of the strap. You've got your black rivets and then again your white and red to match the white and red on the dial. Really all ties in together. Underneath you've got genuine leather and the Junghans branding and the script Junghans as well. You've got a fixed and a floating keeper and then you've got your DLC coated buckle also signed with the Junghans logo. On the back of the case we have Junghans in pilot. You can see that airplane uh, on the back of the case looks really good. The case is screwed down with screws. You've got a spec sheet running around the back as well. 100 meters water resistance, sapphire steel, DLC coating. Really awesome looking case back. Definitely very cool. Uh, like the overall look of the watch. I think this one is just a winner. Uh, looks great on wrist. Love the colors. Love the dial layout. Extremely legible. Uh, Easy to read at a, at a glance. All the colors tie in well together with that black DLC coating, the navy blue, the white, the red. I think this one is just a winner. Killer crystal uh, that just disappears with that AR coating. Uh, just absolutely love it. Uh, not really much about this watch to not like. I'm a big fan of it. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. The only thing I might say is uh, no drilled lugs, no quick release spring bars, so changing the strap might be a little difficult, but the strap is so good and it goes so well with the watch, uh, it's probably going to live on this strap. So let's take a look at the loom on the watch and then we'll see what it looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. All right, the Junghans website does not specify what kind of loom this is. Uh, I don't know if it's C3 Swiss Super Luminova or not, but it glows with a bright green glow. Whatever loom it is, it is fantastic. You can see all your Arabics glow strong. That handset, great application of loom. The minute track is loomed as well, as well as the pip up there on the top of the bezel. Uh, killer loom on this watch. Looks absolutely great at night, as a pilot watch should. This one's gonna glow all night. You're gonna be able to read it easily all night long. Great loom on this one. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it wears very nicely. Lots of wrist presence on this watch with that 43.3 millimeter and that small bezel. Uh, it's gonna look, uh, give you a lot of presence. It looks great on wrist. Love the look of that dial, love the colors. Uh, there's your down the barrel shot. You can see it is a larger watch, but there's plenty of space on my wrist. Those lugs that curve down, still under 50 millimeters lug to lug. Uh, not too big. If you've got a little bit smaller wrist, you could still pull this one off. 
I think it looks great. Uh, definitely a winner. Around 2000 USD full retail on this one, but I think it is a still a good value for money at that price. The Junghans Meister Pilot. If you liked the video, give me a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.